The LISA NGR is a high-density optical cross-connect designed to manage the thousands of complex and varied connectivity scenarios emerging from large and evolving data centres. Normally placed in the main distribution area of the data centre, the LISA NGR centralises and consolidates the entire fibre optic infrastructure into one easy to manage location. This structured approach, recommended by various standardisation bodies such as the TIA and IEC, was created to prevent the cable congestion and high operational costs resulting from spontaneous cross-room patching. There's nothing new about the benefits of the cross-connect approach, but what makes the LISA system different from other cabinets on the market? One of the key differences is the fact that the NGR, with a depth of only 300 millimetres, consumes at least half the space of other cabinets on the market. These cabinets are normally 600 millimetres, 800 millimetres, or even as much as 1,000 millimetres in depth. It's common knowledge that the real estate costs of a data centre are extremely high. Therefore, by reducing rack space consumption, we allow our customers to reduce their total cost of ownership and subsequently maximise their return on investment. The other significant difference between the Lisa NGR and its rivals is the fact that everything mounted inside the cabinet is completely accessible from the front side. Manufacturers who recommend a cabinet deeper than 300 millimetres generally do so because their internal connectivity platform requires cable access and installation from the rear side. At Huber & Sooner, we consider this to be an unnecessary sacrifice, which not only adds to the footprint size and cost, but has a significant impact on the usability of the product. The limitation of having to access connectivity from the rear side of the cabinet can often contribute still further to the overall space consumption of a single cabinet. Maintenance space around the cabinet has to be kept free for walkways, door clearance, and therefore a 600mm cabinet can actually require a functional depth of as much as 1800mm just to open the doors. The NGR's compact 300mm depth and full access from the front side allows users to position the rack in an area of the data centre not generally used for rack placement. For example, the NGR can be positioned either at the end of nearby equipment rows or directly against an unused wall. This principle of zero space consumption ensures that premium priced floor space is always kept available for other important data centre applications. Reducing footprint size means nothing if the overall packing density of the cabinet is also reduced. That isn't the case with the Lisa NGR. In fact, our standalone density of 3,000 fibres per rack represents one of the highest densities in the market, irrespective of size or accessibility. Furthermore, our front access design allows users to place two NGRs back to back so that a staggering 6,000 fibres can be managed in the depth of a single 600mm floor tile. This level of rack density greatly reduces the cost per port and allows us to transfer a quality product to our customers without inflating the total cost of ownership. Like many things in life, data centres constantly change and evolve. What's right for today may not be right for tomorrow. And for this reason, we deliberately design flexibility and scalability into our product. The NGR's unique C-shaped design allows users to start with a single rack and then add more when they really need it. This innovative two-post construction provides modularity and allows cables to be transferred from one rack to the other with maximum ease and simplicity. Four-post racks, on the other hand, provide many more challenges in terms of side-by-side -side mounting. It is, of course, possible to transfer cables from one rack to another, but the obstruction caused by the front vertical posts adds unnecessary risk and increased operational costs. Unlike all other areas of the data centre, the passive fibre optic infrastructure has to remain 100% functional and extremely flexible for anything up to 25 years. Therefore, protecting your investment is high up on our priority list. All of the LISA NGR features are aimed at reducing the time it takes to identify, access and change connections. 
For this reason, every NGR side panel and door comes fitted with easy access spring latches so that immediate access can be gained to the internal elements of the cabin. At Huber & Suna, we know that every data centre is a reflection on the people who design and plan it. Therefore, Huber & Suna NGRs are fully customisable and tailored to suit their individual environment. Doors can be provided either in solid steel, plexiglass or perforated versions. And the complete rack can be painted to match its surroundings, whether it be a greenfield data centre or an existing brownfield site. We encourage our customers to put their own stamp on our products, either by changing the colour or individually branding them. That's why we offer different coloured top plates which improve traceability but also offer a degree of customisation. If we strip out the internal elements of the Lisa NGR, we can see how Huber & Tuna's design competence and diverse practical experience has led to what we consider to be the most flexible and scalable fibre management system on the market. The large number of high density cables entering the rack from different areas of the data centre pass through large apertures either at the bottom or the top of the rack. A full length brush strip seals the rack in the upper position and in the lower section, flexible baffles prevent contaminated air from entering the cabinet. Due to the large apertures, which are more than 75% of the overall footprint, cables of any size and quantity can be routed inside the cabinet. These cables may be loose tube type for fusion splicing, pre-connectorized, or alternatively MPO plug and play cable systems. This diverse range of connectivity methods allows our customers to mix and match any cable type and connectivity method within the same high density frame. Loose tube cables from 12 up to 144 fibres require the highest level of protection within the Lisa NGR. For this reason we deploy a three tier fixing method whereby the cable jacket, loose tube and central strength member are securely fixed to the rack. This provides optimum strain relief and bend radius protection for the most important links in the data centre. If we look first at the full width breakout plate, we can see how multiple cable types and fibre counts can be securely anchored to the entry point of the rack. Individual fibre bundles from loose tube cables are re-sleeved with a protective conduit before the cable jacket is fixed to the plate. This specially designed ribbed conduit prevents any physical damage to the fibre bundle and also protects against kinking or breakage during installation and service. Furthermore, the ribbed wall of the conduit is inserted into a robust, slotted bracket so that the internal loose tube is protected against excessive linear force. Finally, the central strength member of the cable, be it a fiberglass rod or Kevlar, can be clamped into place so that force placed on the cable outside of the cabinet has no impact on the internal fibres. This three-tier fixing method is the most comprehensive and repeatable method of protecting high fibre count cables within a high density fibre management rack. Cables which are pre-connectorised such as MPO cable systems require considerably less protection than loose tube cables and in this case Huber & Suna recommend a simple tie-off plate where only the outer jacket of the cable is fixed to the rack. These tie-off plates can be placed directly against the inner wall of the NGR or mounted on a support rail depending on the size and the quantity of the cables. All of our cable fixing solutions are designed to offer maximum protection to the cable and fast easy access for the user. Cables can be added and removed at any time without disrupting live fibres. Our general principle is based on minimising the point of failure so that each 12 or 24 fibre bundle is offered maximum protection. Let's take a look now at the connectivity hardware inside the cabinet. The tray unit is Huber & Suna's easy access subrack solution designed to support the diverse range of fibre trays that can be managed inside a fully populated Lisa NGR. Available in one, two, three and six U height variants, the tray unit can be used like building blocks to create high density systems from smaller, more scalable subsegments. Alternatively, if speed and simplicity are the drivers, tray units can be pre-installed in the factory as part of a fully configured NGR rack solution. 
The tray unit system accepts Lisa fibre trays which are side facing and mounted in the horizontal plane. This helps to keep each fibre tray separate from the other and also reduces the single point of failure should an accident occur. In a 46U high NGR, at least 40 units of space can be taken up by tray units and for every one U of tray unit, two fibre trays can be installed. This gives an overall density of 80 trays in a standard NGR configuration. Cables enter the tray unit from the rear left-hand side where they are routed to a universal fixing bracket. Protective conduit from loose tube cables can be snapped into a special slot detail or alternatively, MPO adapters can be inserted into the square apertures provided. This open-sided concept allows cables to be added or removed at any time without the need to route them through closed holes. The main purpose of this secondary fixing point is to maintain a service loop of cable so that Lisa fibre trays can be inserted and removed at any time during the lifetime of the system. Sufficient service loop is afforded so that the Lisa fibre tray can be slid out from the tray unit and hinged down to its fully open position. A similar open concept is provided on the right hand side of the tray unit for the management of the patch cords. Patch cords exit the Lisa fibre tray where they are then routed to the rear side to form a service loop for later access to the tray. Patch cords are supported on horizontal supports, integrated into the tray unit, and then guided around bend limiting mandrels. These mandrels protect the radius and also offer strain relief before patch cords are routed to the rear vertical area on the right hand side of the tray unit. If the Lisa NGR is the body of our fibre management system, then the Lisa fibre tray is definitely the brain. The fibre tray is extremely compact at only 20 mm high and is supplied as a ready to install plug and play system. This means that no additional accessories are required in order to terminate fibres and present them to connectivity. Based on 25 years of fibre optic experience, the Lisa fibre tray is designed to facilitate all connectivity types, all cable types and all applications in one easy to use platform. This means that the fibre tray is future proofed for the lifetime of the data centre. We don't know what will happen in 25 years from now, but what we do know is that the Lisa fibre tray was capable of coping with the previous 25 years of industry change. So it doesn't matter whether you want to use fusion splicing, MPO connectivity, test modules or factory terminated systems, the Lisa fibre tray can do it all. Furthermore, all of the different fibre tray types can be mix and matched in the same Lisa NGR to create customised solutions tailored to the evolving needs of our customers. Unlike other modules on the market, the Lisa fibre tray can be installed and serviced completely from the front side of the cabinet without the need for special tools or accessories. The tray can be slid into the tray unit in a matter of seconds and a self-locking feature at the rear of the tray keeps it firmly in position. Accessing the tray later is achieved by pulling the front of the tray, releasing the security lock on the underside, and then pulling the tray out to its final position. At this point, the tray can be pivoted down, providing access to all of the internal fibers and both sides of the connectivity. Because the Lisa fiber tray has side-facing connectors and an integrated service loop, it's possible to pull out or push in the tray even when live fibers are connected. This isn't possible with standard front-facing systems because generally there is no slack management of the patch cords. The side-facing design also has benefits to the user because even when they are patching at head height, they are not exposed to harmful light exposure from live unmated connectors. Traceability and identification are fundamental prerequisites of an effective fibre management system. Huber and Suna offer eight different colours of tray so that our customers can segment their applications by colour. For example, server connections can be attributed one colour and SAN connections can be attributed another colour. Alternatively, colours can be used to identify the different performance levels of the fibre optic cabling. Many modern data centres are migrating to multi-mode OM4 cables, which is shown by Heather Violet colour. Others are using the multi-mode OM3 cables, shown in turquoise colour, and some prefer to use single-mode cables, which are depicted in a yellow colour. 
The possibilities are endless with the Lisa Fiber Tray, and we're always surprised by the many diverse applications that can be reached with a single generic platform. Maybe you already have a great idea how Lisa can help you in the data center. If so, get in touch.